digital immortality. Loved ones would never learn to or need to let go. Society wasn't ready then, and it isn't now. I assume you feel that even Mm -hmm. more after watching that this video is wild. Yeah. So when I had that moment, it was actually a panel discussion around R and VR and AI was like a secondary component of it. But I'd been studying AI for four years at that point, had just started the AI Institute. So it wasn't like I had no concept of AI or where it was going. I'd spent a good portion of my life, the prior four or five years thinking about AI. And so when I was watching this panel talk about specifically more the AR VR side of things and its impact on kids and their ability to just go in and interact with these digital beings. And then you could project out once AI has memory and you can do language and move into these avatar like things, which I was already contemplating at that time, you just started to realize how no one has thought about this. No one's thought this through (laughs) as to whether or not we should actually do this as a society. And I think the biggest thing for me was they were talking about VR headsets and when do children actually have real memories versus things they saw maybe on TV and they like think back and it feels like it actually happened, but maybe it didn't. And they didn't really have good data then. And I'm not sure how much progress they've made since, honestly, where we just don't know how to distinguish between what actually happened in our life and what is just our mind's way of remembering something. 